generally it's it's very new and spontaneous because they're not really familiar with these materials as materials to make things with and they're not traditional art materials for them they're just plants So it means in a way that they come to the materials with no preconceptions about what you can do with them. Um, so it's, it's quite a, a free-form approach, but for me it's much more exciting than saying, right, we're going to make kangaroos and we have to make kangaroos and, you know, you turn up and they all hate kangaroos or whatever, you, you know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's just more spontaneous and more improvised and, and, and generally it's, it's, it kind of it works very well, I think. We started this, mor this morning by smelling the materials. So the, the soaked willow has got a very pungent, strong smell. The bamboo has virtually no smell at all. The rush smells of um, damp, wet, marshy places. So we're starting with the, the smell, and then you've got all the different colours, the different textures, the, the, the resilience of the, of the three different, four different materials that we're using. And through doing that, and through working with, with these 17 or 18 or 19 children, what you get at the end of the result is 20 different fish or whatever, you know, all these different things and they all look so different and it, it's really kind of um, a product of kind of all of these individual people, you know, so it's, it's, it's a delight to see it evolving and developing, it's great fun.